Today we got some new Xbox controllers to look at, and I found a disgusting secret lurking inside my Xbox Series X. Let's discuss. I have with me here Jimmy Champagne. He runs a little channel called Deck Ready and also PlayStation Ready. All right, so you brought some new Xbox controllers for us to take a look at. Xbox is much better than Sony at putting out new controllers every single week. The controllers that they put out, I appreciate, but sometimes they're like kind of questionable. I mean, like the freaking Sonic furry ones, like I can't even imagine like holding on to that or like gaming for any significant amount of time i would get so sweaty it would stink it, it would, would stink. have that gamer stank but that wasn't like for real for sale that was just like part of a giveaway sweepstakes in order to promote sonic 2 the movie they do have some for real ones that they've been putting out first of all they got a deep pink controller deep okay, pink all right it's not as like crazy as some of the other controllers that they've put out so this controller really reminds me of the minecraft one that they did back in the day where they had the minecraft xbox one x I want to say that was a cool one because when you started up it made a really nice little Minecraft jingle but it came along with a pig themed <laughs> controller and the d-pad had like a little design on it I like that this one is more three-toned where the d-pad's black you got the white on right. the back I'm not a huge fan of white mixed with other colors with these controllers Band I pad. wish it was all over yeah. yeah, that'd be much better. I really like the Forza one the most so far out of all the controllers yes. they put out. That and then the one that comes with the Special Edition Series X. They have yes. a rubber texturized back. They feel a little bit more premium. Could you uh, make this new controller in the design lab? I'm not sure because the only thing I don't think that you can replicate, you probably couldn't get the specific color, especially on the Y, B, A, and X buttons. I don't think you can achieve the pink uh, color. It's either okay. the standard yellow, red, green, and... Uh, blue or like white or grayscale. That's good because it would be funny if they were just making design lab controllers and then calling them And then rebranding it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like I said, you do kind of pay a premium. It's uh, $65 Ooh. instead of the usual $60. That's, that's a whole Xbox Series X game and like 95% of a PlayStation 5. Game. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It looks clean, but yeah, the five extra bucks over, you know, when you compare it to like uh, just the standard series controller. Uh, our friend Jamie actually, uh, she just got a controller from the Xbox Design Lab that is pink oh. and yellow. Yeah, uh, Jamie I, edits a lot of these videos. She does all of the cool jokes and effects. Yeah. She just got an Xbox Series S, right? Yeah, she got an Xbox Series S and this controller to go with it. Uh, pink on the front, yellow on the back plate. And then I just feel like this has a lot more personality than the deep pink. And that was something that she did at the design lab. But next up, we also have to celebrate their 20th anniversary of Xbox being in Scotland, launching in Scotland, a special Scottish controller. They're running out of they're, reasons. They're running <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit of a fake out as well because it's not available for purchase this controller It's only available as part of the sweepstakes it's that they're doing sweepstakes it's another sweepstakes control and it's it made like designer <laughs> Yeah, it's designer. It's made in apparently in collaboration with a kilt making company Is um, it like fabric feeling or is it just the print? Yeah, it is actually Fabric and it's not just any fabric. It's like specifically woven by Lockheron the oldest weaving mill in Scotland that's pretty funny, man. Microsoft actually does stuff like this a lot They're, with some of their Surface laptops and Surface keyboards. But yeah, I don't know. Fabric and controllers is kind of weird because you would feel really bad cleaning it. And also your hands are just moving over that plastic and that Surface so much. I feel like you would rub it down and it'd be flat. Dude, and yeah, what if you're eating like literally any snack? Like I can't imagine like I reaching into a bag of game. Cheetos. <laughs> And then like grabbing this controller, like how badly oh, it would God, ruin. It would look like, <laughs> like the bottom of your car when you drop a cheetah. Like, like, oh, oh God. I'm gonna get that off. But you, you would have to have like wet naps, like literally like on demand, <laughs> like between every like bite of snack. You'd have to take the controller apart, get it clean. You're right though that some of these are pretty hit or miss because I got the Boba Fett one, that razor. Yeah, made, yeah, yeah. Which comes with a charging cradle that matches the controller. It's really yeah, cool. That's I'm a huge it. Boba Fett fan. It's like a skin over just a regular black series. Series X controller. It's not just painted like these ones are. It's not dyed color. It just feels like a skin on top of it. It's kind of like a little more smooth than you're expecting. And then also whatever they did to it, I guess they had to take it apart to get that skin on or this paint or whatever they're doing to it. They caused major stick drift. After your experience with the Razer Boba Fett controller, how likely are you uh, to order another Razer controller like that again? Uh, dude, like honestly, I feel like it was just a fluke. Yeah. I know people have problems with Razer controls sometimes, but like I like them. 
I like what that. if I told you it looked like this? Oh, Stormtrooper themed? I did see this for May the 4th. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> cool, man. Like, I like that these come with the themed docks. It looks awesome with the Boba Fett one. You've got his whole helmet when you put it on the dock. This Stormtrooper one is also really cool. It just makes me want Microsoft to get these licenses, though, as much as I love Razer. I mean, like, I'm a Razer gamer. I got a keyboard and mouse, a computer at home. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want Microsoft to get these because that issue I just talked about where it feels like a skin and not the actual controller. Right. There are some good things about, you know, these other companies making Xbox controllers. First of all, like they make like yeah. uh, some like affordable options are out there for these, like when they contract them out. Like I know 8-Bit Doe has a really great line of controllers for Xbox that are uh, like significantly arcade, right? cheaper. Yeah, yeah, they kind of look like <laughs> Super Nintendo controllers. Well, they, 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 got, they, they, they got some, they got some good ones. They got like a pro one that's like 44 bucks, which is like, that's pretty good. Too. It's wired, but it would be nice for them to have these like licenses in-house they to made make with. amazing mandalorian ones that they sent out during season two like xbox made them as a promo they were like hand painted it looked like Aww. they were so cool they were star wars themed i have no idea why xbox is not going out of their way to get these licenses to make these themselves because when they do do it for sweepstakes they come out dope like yeah. they do such a good job and like how amazing would it be if you could take some of those elements that we're seeing like the freaking hand painted mandalorian controller and put that in the design lab oh that would be really cool like when you're like making design your, design your own ex like, yeah. you have like decals you can put on yes that, that's what because oh, i mean you could probably go into the design lab right now and make a mandalorian inspired color scheme yeah. but like take that a step further man let me put like the helmet on there let me put like the, the freaking dark skull. saber on oh, yeah like, dark saber that like have like sweet. a design like embossed on the freaking plate on the front of that controller that would be sick we know they have the money and even if they didn't want to license out some of these other characters use some of your in-house characters that you have under the That's xbox game idea. studios umbrella whenever this rumored elite series 3 controller comes out i would kill for that to make its way onto the design lab, dude. Like if I could design my own Elite controller, that thing feels so personal. Like when that you buy the Elite nice. Series 2, you get it in a nice zipper case. It's awesome. It comes with a little mm -hmm. stand for the controller that's a magnetic wireless charging brick. And they thought to put a hole in the case where if you have the brick in its little slot, you can stick the cord through there. You've got a nice braided cable with it. You've got all these extra components. Like that's stuff people are obviously willing to pay for. I would yeah. love to be able to cut customize it even further like they did a customized one with the halo version yeah these customized accessories I and mean, that's something that i think is cool about xbox and i think it's like it's free marketing because like you get your own personalized controller that has all these crazy elements that we're talking about maybe it's like an emblazoned emblem of like i don't even know like master chief's face or like an energy sword like either like uh engraved on it or it's a decal you take a picture share it on social media and then people share that oh that's so cool i want something I like this that one. Free you can make your own here at xbox design lab it reminds me of uh the gears elite controller it was <laughs> blood red and it had like deep grooves and scratches and it came with the little plate d-pad instead of the directional buttons it had the guns that were mapped to each Ooh. direction it was so cool i want to see them doing more stuff like that this all started off because yes razor is releasing a stormtrooper <laughs> i don't want to dog on razor Doc. i like razor i i love i actually love razor i have too much razor stuff but it's just it doesn't feel as premium that's the way that controller has to be made because it's not made the same way as they're molded by xbox right exactly What's up guys? So for this section, y'all are gonna be like really judging me hard for this because my Xbox, honestly, I gotta admit, it's pretty dirty on the inside. So officially, Microsoft does not recommend opening up your Xbox to clean it. They just say that usually external cleaning should do the trick. You shouldn't have to crack open your Xbox and do anything crazy to clean it out. But I definitely need to crack it open and clean it out a little bit. I am inspired by my uh, friend, fellow YouTuber, Tinkerman Mick. He said that it would be pretty cool if I started doing like teardowns and stuff like him. I'm not as tech savvy as him, but he <laughs> did have a counterpoint that was like, well, it could be funny since you have no idea what you're doing if you crack open these consoles, even if you mess up really badly, it could make for a good video. So here I am. So I have this Xbox Series X. This is my personal one. I use this one literally every single day compared to this nice and fresh clean Xbox Series X. 
You may recognize it as the one that we were just slapping a bunch of like wish.com accessories on. I'm gonna be comparing these two. This one is crazy dusty, my personal one. So first things first, I've already done it on my personal Xbox, but you'll see on the back of your Xbox, there are a couple stickers, right? You have this one that has all of the information about like the HDMI, the barcode, things like that. You have to peel that off and it will reveal a secret screw. It's a little green screw. And there's another one at the bottom of your Xbox where right next to the base of your Xbox Series X. Peel that off as well. That one does not have like any like text or information or anything like that. It's just a black sticker. Peel that off. You'll need to undo both of them if you want to crack open your Xbox Series X. This is a T8 screwdriver. You need this specifically for the screws on the back of your Xbox. Please do not try to use any other types of screw Heads. You run the risk of stripping the screws and then it makes it harder to get them out once you actually have a T8. So I highly recommend just going straight up with the T8. So without further ado, let's pop this sucker open right here. So I got one screw out here. I got another one working on here. So these screws look the same, but you just gotta be careful to make sure that you keep track of where you took them out of. I have a little helpful tray right here that has some dividers that I'll put in right here, just because you never know, like they could be different lengths and if you try to put them back, it could be like wonky. So now that you have the screws off, this next part, you gotta be really careful. You don't wanna just like go in like, like prying away at your Xbox. You wanna make sure that you do it with care, with love. So make sure that you start prying away at it from the bottom, from the base up. It should start to click right off. It has a few more clips just for that extra support. But once you have the stuff at the bottom off, it comes off pretty easily. So as you can see, yeah, this thing's pretty dusty, okay. But what really made me want to do this is that there is this dust bunny inside in this back left vent that I noticed. And let me just see if I can reach it. Oh yeah, check it out, brothers. <laughs> Like, what is this thing? Like, I can't even, that's like beyond dust. Like there is a little, I see a little bit of cat hair. What the heck, man? Like my cats are just like shacking up on my Xbox Series X, sleeping on top of it. Like, I don't know, like pulling late nights on Halo or something. Damn, it's a damn shame. I'm, I'm sorry, Xbox, I'm sorry. I love you, you know I love you, baby. So now I'm just gonna take this little thing right here. This is what I use to clean uh, camera lenses. It's just like something that blows air, but you can use like uh, canned compressed air or like maybe a little vacuum or something. I'm just gonna go and kind of, oh, look at that. <laughs> you see like all the dust flying, man. It is just like a war zone in here. Oh yeah, <laughs> god damn. <laughs> and even on this back plate, like you can see like all sorts of stuff. Man, I really feel like legitimately bad. Like, man, to see that it was just dirty like this. But already like so much better and I'm sure. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see like some more little dust bunnies. This little simple thing, just blowing air, not even doing anything really crazy is gonna go a long way in like projecting the longevity of this fine machine that we have here. And you know what, another cool thing about popping open your Xbox is that you get to see this cool little Master Chief icon that they hid away in the back of your Series X. Always good to see a Master Chief, Mr. Chief in the flesh. Maybe not on the TV show, <laughs> but always good to see him in a video game form. So what we have to do again, I'm gonna pop this plate back on. You gotta do it from the top first because it has a little inserts right along that goes into the top here. And then it should just click right on back with all the plating, bang, bang, boom. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I put this off for too long, but I hope you can forgive me. Like, look at this. I'm like, damn, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> And I promise guys, like my apartment is clean. Like my wife is always on me to like keep our stuff clean, orderly. So again, I have screws right in here. Again, make sure that you keep track of which screw goes into which hole. Take your T8, make sure the screws are nice and snug, nice and tight, but not too tight. Bing, bang, boom. I'm gonna give it a jiggle. Make sure that the plate is nice and secure and it should be good to go right here. And you have a much happier console, a much cleaner console, and uh, uh, definitely a lot less flammable console, I would say. You don't want your console to go up in flames because you got all sorts of dust uh, chilling in the back. Were my cats like sleeping on top of this? Like, I, I have no idea, man. Probably gonna get judged hard for it, but it was long overdue, happy I did it. And hopefully it'll inspire some of you who are kind of, eh, kind of on the fence 
about taking apart your Xbox. Again, I have like no technical knowledge. I have no, like, I'm not like handy in any way. Uh, but again, my friend Tinkerman Mick inspired me to go in and just dive into my Xbox, take it apart, see how things work. 